The biological wealth of New Zealand's coastal waters is something very special, a resource to be enjoyed and managed by all. And here, not a stone's throw from the Wellington CBD, is the Island Bay Marine Education Centre in the Taputiranga Marine Reserve, one of the most accessible places in the country to get a taste of that marine wealth. I'm going to meet with marine scientist Malcolm Francis to discover more. There been a marine reserve here, Malcolm. Well, the Tapitaranga Marine Reserve has now been in force for two and a half years. Okay. So, what are the do's and don'ts for a marine reserve? A marine reserve is just like a national park in the sea. So, all the same rules apply. Uh, you're not allowed to fish or collect shellfish or seaweed, but you can go out there and enjoy it. So, how can I get in amongst it here and enjoy this marine biodiversity? Well, if you want to stay dry, you can go to the Marine Education Centre and look at their touch tanks and uh, see all the animals and plants there. Or if you're a bit more adventurous, you can put on a mask and snorkel and go in the water and have a look around. And that's why we're developing a snorkel trail. So how does a snorkel trail actually work? We've selected an area that's uh, accessible, shallow, close to shore. And we're going to mark it out with seven marker buoys. And the idea is you just swim around between the buoys and the reef and looking down and around and uh, looking at all the plants and animals. And what species are we likely to see? It's a really diverse bit of coast here. There's a lot of animals and plants. There are more than 100 species of fish and more than 300 species of seaweeds on this coast. So uh, there's a lot to look at, a lot of other animals as well. And uh, of course, there's all the uh, well-known species like power and crayfish and octopus. And you might even see a seahorse. Oh, wow. A seahorse would be absolutely fantastic. I've never seen one in New Zealand. Well, what are the chances? Uh, on the open coast, uh, where it's a bit rough, not too good, but in the more sheltered areas, you can often find them twisted around a branch of seaweed. Awesome. OK, show me the way. Yeah, let's go and look for one. Well, that snorkel was absolutely amazing. And to actually be able to see a seahorse in the wild, and we were pretty lucky to see that, was just superb. See it cruising through the weed, snapping up at its little planktonic prey. I cannot encourage you enough to come and give snorkeling a go in our amazing coastal waters. They're so full of wildlife. And if you're a little bit nervous of the open seas, you can just dunk yourself into a rock pool, some of these sheltered areas, and you'll be perfectly safe. <laughs> 